Hi, James Taylor here, BBC Four. Uh, welcome to James Taylor Night. And, um, you know, we're going to be watching me. Um, I, I love it. I, it's great. Twelve Bar Blues is a, is, is a, is a form, and it, and it starts uh, to play a blues in G. So a 12-bar blues is a form. You repeat the first line twice and then rhyme it with a third line, and that's a form of song that basically anybody can step into, and steamrollers like that, too. Well, I'm a steamroller, baby. I'd like to roll all over you. I'd like to bend down the soul with some rock and roll and rhythm and blues. Anyway, these things are, you know, or of, you know. I mean, it's ghastly, but you know, it's so easy for every you know to to sing. You can just pick it up and then move on from there. It's a place to start and uh, a comfortable thing to do, and uh, you know, off we go. Hi, this is James Taylor on BBC Four. Uh, welcome to uh, the twenty-four hour. All day, all week, James Taylor, all the time, television network. He says goodnight, you moonlight ladies. Rock by my sweet baby James. Deep greens and blues are the colors I choose. Won't you let me go down in my dream? I picked up the guitar at the age of 12 in 1960, and I and my friend Danny Korchmar and we were playing clubs together. Uh, they they were they they were called coffee houses um, or folk clubs, and there was an open mic uh, evening usually, and that's how people got started. When, uh, w with an open mic evening, it was almost uh, like karaoke, except there wasn't a backing track. You'd get up and, and sing as best you could and hope they didn't, you know, throw anything too hard. Then after I uh, dropped out of high school, we went down to New York, and he and I started a band with a couple of other friends of ours, and we were the house band, a place called the Night Owl Cafe. You know, uh, get a cup of coffee or a drink and, uh, and, and listen to the house band. And... Uh, we died of starvation essentially uh, after a, we just ran out of options and, and, and couldn't hold it together for a year and we broke up as bands do and I came over here to, to England to follow it further I had a couple of really good breaks one was being born during the great folk scare of the mid 60s as Danny likes to call it and uh, the other one was meeting Peter Asher and having my music heard by uh, Paul McCartney and George Harrison and, and uh, signing to Apple Records in 68. I get by with a little help from my friends I'm gonna try with the help from my friends I get high with the help from my good friends I had a friend who lived in Twickenham down the way, southwest of here, and uh, he, uh, he took me in for a couple of weeks, 
And then I, uh, I found a basement flat and, uh, near uh, Notting Hill Gate and started uh, trying to, to get a record deal, which, which came along miraculously. I played mostly in, in, at people's uh, houses and parties, and at one point uh, I parked myself in the underpass uh, uh, underneath the, um, a high park, uh, the road that goes up, up along the park there. It was good acoustics, and you know, it smelled like a, like a men's room, but it, uh, it sounded good, and, I, and people would drop money in my guitar case, so I sang in there for a while. Get by with a little help from my friends the Help from my friends Come along now, won't you help me, my friend One Man Band is an autobiographical show and as much as there is a subject to it, I am the subject. It is not chronologically uh, sensible. It is just a, a reaching into a drawer with a bunch of mementos and tchotchkes and photographs and stuff and just coming out with a bunch of stuff and laying it out on the table and say, see. The California, Los Angeles music scene in the, in the 70s was, was, was rich. It was ripe. Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Uh, Neil Young. Um, Joni Mitchell, obviously. Uh, Carole King. It was a very fertile very productive uh, time and a lot of stuff came out of it wherever I am I'll come running to see you again winter spring summer or fall all you've got to do is call When people are young, they, they're sort of, they're blind in a way. They're very enthusiastic and they're very full of themselves. And they think that that's, a, that it's a sort of a narcissistic time. And, and y you know, you, 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 you're not worried about the rest of the world. You don't have kids, that's why, you know. So you don't have that connection. You're just into your own personal project. That's sort of what I, what I think about that California time. It was the product of such privilege, you know, people, there were, people were uh, living off the fat of the land. It was like economically, culturally, in all ways, people were just given a huge amount, you know. And I feel fine any time she's around me now. She's around me now, almost all the time. Los Angeles feels like a big spread out place, but actually people put together a city, they assemble a city in Los Angeles, uh, and they connect the dots with their automobile. And that will be your life, uh, you know. Then the rest of it is all TV, you know. But uh, It felt small to me, the distances were small. Uh, Laurel Canyon down to Hollywood, uh, maybe A&M Studios, maybe a Sunset Sound or Crystal Sound, all of those were very close together. It was. It was a small, tight-knit community. I've seen fire and I've seen rain. I've seen sunny days that I thought would never end. People were there to have a good time, you know. And it, it was, uh, there were lots of drugs, psychedelics, uh, marijuana, uh, you know, cocaine eventually, uh, plenty of alcohol, plenty of wine. You know, uh, all of this was just part of the the, the, the scene, and it was just, uh, people were there to have a good time, you know. You gotta help me to make a stand You just got to see me through another day My body's aching and my time is at hand People will always get high. Um, uh, animals get high if you let them. Um, and uh, you know, it's just for me, it stopped working, and, uh, and because I, I'm an addict, it, it beat me up and I had to stop. Um, uh, it's dangerous, too, um, and a waste of time as well, but I, I, I was lucky um, that my dance uh, with it didn't kill me or, or too terribly uh, injure uh, any other people around me. Anyway, um, 
uh, yeah, the California scene. It was uh, hugely creative and uh, just, uh, it, was a, it was a gas. It was a fucking ball. I thought I'd see you, I thought I'd see you 